Hello, and congratulations on your acceptance to St. Ignatius College Prep. Today, I'm going to be walking you through how to set up security settings on your iPad so you'll be all set for the school year. Some settings that you might want to change would be to enable a passcode. Passcode makes it so that you can only log on to your iPad using a passcode. To do this, go to the settings application, then go to the general section, and scroll down to where it says passcode lock. From here you can turn on a passcode. To do that, simply press turn passcode on. You will then be prompted to enter a passcode. Do that, and then retype in that same passcode. Once you've done that, when you lock your iPad and open it back up, you will be prompted to enter that passcode. To make your iPad more secure, you can change the passcode type. Changing the passcode type allows you to use things other than numbers. To do this, turn the simple passcode tab off. From here, you can enter any combination of letters and numbers. If you only want to use numbers, you can enter however many numbers you want. Then, when you go to unlock your device, it will only show numbers as opposed to letters and numbers. Another group of security settings that you might like to use is restrictions. Restrictions limit access to certain functions of the iPad. To enable restrictions, click Enable and enter a passcode. This can be the same or different from the passcode you use to unlock your device. From here, you can limit access to Safari, camera FaceTime, installing, deleting apps, or in-app purchases. In addition, you can change the ratings allowed for different contents, such as movies, TV shows, and apps. From here, you can also limit what apps have access to different options on your device, such as location, microphone, camera, etc. If you need to disable restrictions, simply go into the restriction settings, Click Disable Resi Restrictions and enter your password. Additional settings that you might want to change to make your iPad more secure would be to turn on Find My iPad. Find My iPad allows you to locate, lock, or erase your iPad and prevents it from being erased or reactivated without your password. In other words, this is a way so that if your iPad is stolen, it cannot be resold. To turn this on, go to iCloud and click Find My iPad. It will prompt you to make sure this is what you want to do. Click OK, and then Find My iPad will be turned on. From here, you can also access other critical settings such as backup. Your iPad has the ability to backup contacts, calendars, reminders, bookmarks, passwords, photos, and documents to iCloud. In addition, from here you are able to create a backup of your data. If your iPad is ever lost, stolen, or broken, you can restore this backup once your iPad is repaired or replaced. To do that, go into Storage and Backup, and click Backup Now. Another good idea is to backup your iPad to your computer. To do this, plug your iPad into your computer. If you're running Mac, iTunes will open automatically. If you're running a Windows machine, you'll have to go to Apple's website and download iTunes from there. Once you've opened iTunes, click on your iPad. It'll show up on the left-hand side of the screen. From here, you have a variety of different options, including updating your iPad software, restoring your iPad if it gets corrupted, and creating backups. When you backup your iPad to your computer, any apps and data within those apps will be backed up, in addition to any emails, contacts, photos, songs, etc. To do this, make sure you are in the summary page and click Backup Now. iTunes will create a backup of your machine and download any data to the computer. Backups can be restored if your iPad gets corrupted. 
These are the settings we recommend you take when setting up your iPad. If you have questions, feel free to contact the St. Ignatius Help Desk, and we'd be more than happy to help you through your iPad setup. Once again, congratulations on your acceptance to St. Ignatius College Prep, and we can't wait to see you in the fall.